Hello dear students I'm back with the new topic tenses I hope this session will be useful for each one of you tenses the base of english grammar yes let's understand what tenses the word tense comes from the latin word tempus which means time so tense denotes the time of action of verb Now let's talk about its types. Tense is of three types: present tense, past tense, and future tense. Let me tell you children that each tense is further divided into four major kinds. Yes, it's simple, continuous or progressive, perfect and perfect continuous yes each tense is further divided into four kinds and these kinds are i repeat simple continuous or progressive perfect and perfect continuous you all need to keep this in mind now let's look at the structure of sentence before understanding the various kinds of tenses A sentence has a subject, a verb and an object. A sentence may or may not have an object. If we talk about universal formula of a sentence in English, it's subject plus verb plus object. A sentence can be without helping verb. In this case, the exact formula is subject plus main verb which is also called the base form of verb or the verb as it is plus object for example i read newspaper he plays cricket you work very hard she comes every day now here is a list of rules of these tenses yes as i told you that each tense is further divided into four different kinds let's begin with simple form yes if we talk about simple present tense we use first form of verb along with s or es we add s or es to the base form of the verb when the subject is third person singular for example he she or it or any name in that case only we add s or es to the base form of the verb like she reads he dances simple past tense we always use second form of verb in simple past tense nowhere else we use second form of verb except simple past tense so simple past tense is subject plus second form of verb plus object then comes your simple future we use will or shall with first form of verb yes like i will work very hard so i will work work is your first form of verb very hard right so this is simple future so here you can compare and it will be easier for you to grasp tenses now let's move on to the progressive forms or continuous forms in all the continuous forms one thing is common we use first form of verb with ing in all the continuous forms the difference lies in the use of helping verb in present continuous we use is am are in past continuous we use was and were and in future continuous we use will be or shall be with first form of verb ing now let's move on to the perfect forms again here also in all the perfect forms be it present past or future we use third form of verb the difference here also lies in the use of helping verb 
has and have in case of present had in case of past and will have or shall have in case of future perfect progressive forms it means continuous forms perfect continuous forms here also first form of verb plus ing is common the difference lies in the use of helping verb have and has been in case of present perfect continuous had been in case of past perfect continuous and will have been or shall have been in case of future continuous tense but here also we can see that first form of verb plus ing is common right be it present past or future so i repeat if we talk about simple forms in present we use first form of verb in past second form and in future again first form in all the continuous forms we use first form of verb and ing in perfect forms we use third form of the verb and in perfect continuous forms we use first form of verb plus ing along with been now let's look at few examples so it will be easier for you to learn it right so now let's look at simple present as i discussed the form so now you can easily frame a sentence let's begin with an easy sentence i eat i is your subject and eat is your verb so subject plus verb simple past i ate ate is second form of verb and simple future i will eat if you look at progressive or continuous i eat becomes i am eating so what is happening right now something is in progress in past continuous someone was eating i was eating and in future i will be eating right so this is comparative study and it 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 becomes easier for us to understand tenses if we look at perfect forms you can see eaten that is third form of verb is common in all be it present past or future so present perfect i have eaten past perfect i had eaten and future perfect i will have eaten let's move on to the next perfect progressive form here also you can see that first form of verb plus ing is common so the difference lies in the use of helping verb so you can see in present perfect continuous i have been eating in past perfect continuous i had been eating and in future perfect continuous i will have been eating so the same way you can think of more examples start practicing take one sentence each day and change it into different kinds so you can take maybe one sentence every day so it will be you know an easy way to understand tenses and you will not find it difficult anymore because i have seen children you know struggling with tenses but with the passage of time when they start this practice these tenses become easier for them so make it a habit if you find tenses difficult it will not be difficult for you mark my words